Hello eScooter friends, welcome to this video of WMA here on YouTube. Thanks again for switching in and uh, this is my first video in English because like I got a lot of questions of you and thanks for that. Um, we were asking like is it possible for you to like also make like not only German also English videos. So I tried to translate that for you guys and I will start with that in this video. So I'm sitting right next to my 9 Watt Max G2. It's a new scooter. I already unboxed it on my German channel. But I also want to like give you guys in English an introduction. How is it possible to tune that scooter? Because like there is a possibility now, not that wide range like we know it like from other scooters, but at least it's possible to get it like to a max speed of like 32 to 33 um, kmh. Uh, so it's uh, possible to do. Um, don't mind like in Germany like we have like 22 of a speed limit. So like it shows 22 in uh, other parts of Europe. Uh, you're allowed to like go like 25. Just leave me down a, like a, a comment. Um, let me know like what is your regular speed. Um, but we can bring it like with an easy app tune to like up to 32 or 33. So it is possible. I'm going to explain you how to. You just need like some kind of uh, your original uh, Segway 9 bot app because like we need to check the firmware. And the other, the other app is like a BLE scanner so we can check for Bluetooth. And uh, we're going to select the scooter. I'm going to explain it to you now later. But I just wanted to use that chance to also speak with you guys in English and uh, hopefully you leave me like some, some thumbs up and also like uh, you, you book the channel. I would be very happy about that. Um, so in this point I would say like let's start with the video and I'm going to start right now and let's go. I guess an important point to, uh, to, to announce before I start is like if you want to uh, change something on your scooter and I, of course your warranty and everything else goes lost. I don't know how the regular stories are in other countries about the uh, is it driving is it legal to drive on the street but I just want you to know if you change something that has an impact on your scooter and uh, at this point I cannot tell you like exactly if it's possible to track the change we make. In first step um, we're gonna like open the uh, Segway 9 bot app and check the firmware. Important like if you're connected to scooter always make sure to disconnect Bluetooth before and to reconnect. I'm going to start the app now and put it to the left of the screen, tap on the scooter and then you can already scroll down and then you see master control and we see, you see like I have the version 1.3.5. I got the information out of others of my uh, German community. They already said like it's also possible to have like 1.3.6 so the new update. Uh, let me down. Uh, let me know down down in the comments if it also works with your scooter. Like sometimes we have like different um, speeds we can achieve, uh, so that maybe like an uh, important note for you. And the next step is like uh, is the information like we would change the hex code. So means like we we use the BLE scanner to uh, enter like another code. And with that code, we can switch between two speed modes. Um, it means like you will have like one code that ends with a three zero, and um, that one is the original one. So the speed should be like in original. Let me know down in the comments if like uh, in the Europe version with the twenty five original, it also turns back to twenty five, or if you also have like the twenty two. So I couldn't test that. And the uh, second code that you can use brings you up to a speed of thirty two thirty three. I heard like uh, from my German community like different numbers so it could be possible that some of your scooters maybe also go like only 31 but uh, that will be also interesting for me to know and learn what these what the speed is that uh, shows up in other countries um, but we're going to give, give it a try I'm going to show you like how it works um, so in the next step uh, I will just uh, open the app again um, but before I start with that I would just like let you know I switch the scooter on um, sometimes you see in the middle there's like a Bluetooth symbol. That means like that the phone is still like connected to the scooter even if you close the app. Um, to solve that problem you just open the Bluetooth settings, um, switch Bluetooth off and on again and then you can just reconnect to your scooter and everything will work like before. But the next step I'm going to open the Bluetooth scanner app and uh, there you see like several different products and then I will click on connect right beside the serial number. Now you see like different faces and um, down there is like custom service down at the end. Uh, you just uh, we, we just push the, um, the, the field to open it and then, then you see the then you see like um, several characteristics and right down on the bottom in the last part there is a blue W right next to the characteristic. And this is the one we were go going to push because like there is the field to edit the before I already announced like hex code. But before um, I would just try what's the original speed 
Um, you see there, it's the 22. So we see the original code is still in there. And uh, now we're ready to, uh, to, to change the code. And for that, I'm gonna click like as already described on the right. And then you need to change the text field. Uh, just click it and then uh, choose byte array and um, or array. I don't know what's the right pronunciation. Uh, we can enter the code and uh, then we switch it to the 3, 1 at the end. So we have the tuning code. Click on OK and now we're already set and we can just give it a try and check how fast the scooter goes. And there you see it, it's like 32, so we already unlocked it. So actually like if you have the app already on your phone, it's possible to do that in like less than a minute. Um, if we want to turn it back to original, pretty easy, just byte array again and then enter the code, but now not with 31, now with the 30. Just click on OK and we're already set and normal scooter is back to normal live and has the original speed. So you see it's pretty easy to change that and it's also like possible to do that like on the go if you want to go slower or whatever. Uh, for the German community I already mentioned it's only like usable for like private areas so don't use it on the street because like it's actually illegal of course i like i have a big property you know use the scooter not not on the street but maybe in other countries i would also be interested to know that is it possible to tune the scooter how is the registration how is the license um do you does does the probably do the cops care about it uh, i don't know but i would be interested in knowing that and i hope that i could like help you with that video and uh, at yeah, that case, I would be very happy if you just like would continue continue with me on that channel and give me feedback to my English maybe. And uh, in that case, I would be like uh, happy if you would like put a thumbs up to the channel. If you would also like uh, register to the channel so that you see all the new updates. And at that point, I just want to say thank you for watching my first video in English. Looking forward to have the next one with you. And at that point, I just want to say bye. See you in the next video.